With that, the refurbished 19th century clock tower on 111th Street starts counting down to when this former hub of the Pullman Palace Car Company is remade to tell the story of African-American migration and how porters and workers went on strike in 1894 to protest wages and working conditions, drawing a lethal federal response, but eventually giving birth to today's national holiday. And if there's ever a moment in history, and if there's ever a place to do it, it's right here today on Labor Day 2020 that we know that that railroad track is big enough in America for economic justice and rail justice. In 2014, Durbin introduced legislation to designate the Pullman District as a national park. A year later, he helped persuade then-President Barack Obama to create the Pullman National Monument. The mayor today joining the local alderman, her frequent critic, to celebrate. Uh, we owe it to the Pullman community in our entire country to preserve this history and uplift this neighborhood to its rightful place in our city's cultural and economic life. We brought pr private and public partnerships into the area. That is exactly why the crime is down over 44% here in the 5th District in the 9th Ward. Sitting north of the famous Pullman community where employees more than a century ago lived and shopped and were educated, it is hoped the sprawling 12-acre campus will inject even more economic momentum into this area, which has developed rapidly. And we've done an outstanding job for the National Park Service. They're extremely happy with the work we've done. We're on time, we're under budget, and we're delivering a high-quality product with great minority participation, and African-American workforce. It is said there is blood in the ground here over what happened in 1894, and now a national monument will consecrate that, the first in the city of Chicago, and a $34 million reminder for all the world to know why it is that we have this first Monday of September off. It's to rest and to celebrate labor. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.